Welcome to the weekly tech video. We're going to talk about freshman iPad return and sharing presentations on the web to make slide presentations a little more useful. Ninth grade students will be returning their iPads to Kellenberg for the summer. That's going to happen on the day of the last comp, June 16th. There will be an email coming from IT with directions regarding that, so ninth grade homeroom moderators should be attentive and look out for that email, and uh, you'll have some information on what to do when that day comes. If you use PowerPoint in your class, and many of us do, this is a, a quick tip that you might find useful um, for yourself and for your students. I think it's something that makes your PowerPoint presentations a lot more accessible, both for you as you go room to room in the building, but also for your students when they might need to access some information. So what this involves is translating PowerPoint to Google Slides first. So I'm going to take this presentation right here. It's called Patrick Henry and Thomas Paine. And by highlighting it on my drive with the click there, I'm going to go to More. And I'm going to say open with Google Slides. And what's going to happen now is that Google is actually making a copy of this for me. And it's creating a new Google Slides file from what was the PowerPoint. Right? Um, just to highlight that fact, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to change the name of this. I'm just going to call this now Patrick Henry and Thomas Paine G Slides. So I know this is a Google Slide presentation. Right? So the next thing I want to do now that I've made this copy is I want to share it and make it public. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say that this is public on the web and anybody can find it. The reason I want to do that is I'm going to put this now on my site. I want to make sure that anyone who goes to my site can see this because otherwise it doesn't really do much good. Um, so let's go over to a Google Sites page. Many of us use Google Sites as our web page. Um, and many of us put files for students to download, but we don't think to put slide presentations up like this. And let me show you why I want to do it. So here's my site. Let me go to edit it. And I want to put that slide presentation right in. So I'm going to go insert to drive, right down to presentation. And now there it is. It's the most recent thing I did, so it's for the top. I'm going to insert, gives me some options. All right, I save the page. And now when you go to my web page, here's what you see. All right? Here's the Google slide presentation. Why is this an advantage? Well, if you are teaching and you want to use this presentation, instead of going to your flash drive or going to your drive or trying to find the file, you go right to your website and it's live. And I can just click here and as soon as this loads up, I can present. So I'm two clicks away from presenting full screen once I get to my web page. I don't need to find the file. The file is there on my web page for me and I can present this the way I've always done it. Okay. The other reason is that if, let me go back to the web page here, if students want to view this, right, and if you made this available for download, students can download it, and if they have PowerPoint, they can view it, uh, they can try to print it or whatever, but they don't need to download the file to view it now. It's right there. It's live for them. They can navigate the slides, right? Um, if they want to, they can download it not only as the original PowerPoint, but as a PDF as well. It offers them greater flexibility. They can annotate it on their iPad if they want, or I could choose to print it if I want. So this makes your slide presentations more accessible to you and to the students.